Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So the ROM Ragnarok M Eternal Love Novi server, the latest server for the game is now live. Now specifically, it is live in the China region server only as of now. Not yet available in the ROM SEA or global or EU region server. Now why this server is worth to hype for for the game 7 anniversary? Yes, it has been around for that long. For the game 7 anniversary, the game had announced that they want to bring back the old classic Ragnarok feel to its truest original form. The good old days where players can enjoy the game without heavy predatory monetization with gachas, top up, costume deposit stats that ultimately steer the game to an unbalanced gameplay. ROM won nothing of that for the game next development, hence the novice serve is made. The novice server aimed to have a unified currency with just using the Zeni as its primary source of in-game currency for all its transactions, from getting gears, doing enchant, refine, even getting costume in the game. All these can be obtained with just using the Zeni. Previously, the novice server had opened to players for the CBT close beta test, and now it has officially launched in the China region server just a few days ago at the time this video is made. I didn't play the game during the CBT period, but I have seen some videos making a review about it, and I finally make a character in the newly opened server. Just want to try it, or perhaps going to play it extensively since a game without gacha, top up for premium currency, or the well concept is really selling it. Equal opportunity for all to be the best in terms of their build progression. This can just be the game that everyone is waiting and looking for, but that will be a little challenging. I'll talk about that later in the video. So upon getting into the game, you will notice that the game is quite similar to the existing ROM server. The quest, the features, the game mechanic all are about the same, but not quite. There are few things in the game that are changed to fit into the game objective. First off, the gacha machine had been totally removed, eliminating the gacha feature in the game, which is a big part of ROM. Sure, you have the other feature like the upgrade, refine, runes, and whatnot to increase your character overall power, but the costume gacha is one of the feature in ROM that really set you apart from the elite players. By elite, I mean the well, mostly because of its start deposit effect, which not every player can do. It reserved only to those who willing to spend money on gacha to get the costume and get stronger and stronger over the time. Well, the costume is not entirely removed in the novice server. The costume is now moved from the gacha to the dungeon or instance as an instance drop. I imagine that this will be be kind of equivalent to getting the MVP card, right? Definitely will have lower drop rate, but at least every player will have a chance to get it, not bound by the limitation of your credit card. Now this costume can't be sold at the exchange center. If you have a quite unfortunate luck on drops, the game also have a costume selling NPC. And guess what? You can get the costume with just Zenny, and there are not just basic costume. Some of the costumes have good stats. For example, this hairstyle. It increases all stats by 3 points and it increases physical attack and magic attack by 3%. What's more, it is absolutely affordable. It costs around 1 million zenny. And here, my character, in just 2 days of playing, I already have over 2 million zenny. I can straight away buy it now and enjoy the stat boost. 
It even has a discount going on. It is server at the moment. The price is further reduced to about 600,000 zenny. Some of the costumes, the price is further reduced to about 600,000 zenny. And it has good stats too. This one increases the physical attack and major attack by 3% and increase the job exp gain when killing monsters by 5%. Mind blowing. Now the bigger question is, does the costume have deposit stat? Well, yes and no. Well, yes because some of the headgear do have deposit stat, but the stat is not overly crazy like 1% physical or major attack. Just a little bit HP and defense. Some have one point of dex or AG. You may think 1% is meh, but if you have 10, 20 costumes and the number keep increasing with each release every month, suddenly it is a big deal. And that is just the costume. You have other things like the hardware, mouthpiece, hairstyle, including all those is just unthinkable. The well will keep on getting stronger and stronger. And no, because the costume that you get from the dungeon and the NPC store cannot be deposited. Now that is a sigh of relief, right? Well, there are some default costume that can be deposited, like these two here. This one gives 6 points of physical and magic attack, and this gives 60 HP. Nothing crazy. So does the game really don't have any top-up system to keep running and maintain the game? Undeniably, the game needs a revenue stream, and that is also from the top-up system. Players top up in the novice server to get more Zenny. Now, the Zenny is not a premium currency that you can get only from topping up. The Zenny can be easily obtained in the game from doing daily quest, killing monsters, doing dungeon. You can get it from doing all sorts of activities in the game. So topping up is optional, unless there is a limited time event that have a super good stats costume, for example, that you can only have the chance to get within the next one week, that you can't get enough zeny within that period of time. Then that's when we need to evaluate the game system in a whole. And of course, the server is fairly new. Nothing of that sort happened yet. That is what the players need to look out for. Apart from that, players can purchase the game monthly Kafra Adventure Pass to get benefits. On the surface, there are three types of monthly pass. One, the basic free pass. Two, the advanced pass. And three, the collector pass. There are daily and weekly pass quests that you can do. Completing this quest will give you the pass EXP. The pass has 50 levels in total. Reaching a certain level, you can claim all these rewards. The advanced pass will give you more materials and zany and weapon selection box which you can get the purple weapon. And the collector pass as the name suggests not only give you more materials, zany and weapon selection box, it also give headgear and costume. Here we have the tail costume which give 3% major attack. The advanced pass headpiece costume increase damage to brute type monster by 10% and also reduce damage from the blue type monsters by 10%. The collector pass will give additional accessory selection box and also at the maximum pass level you can get a costume. But this costume is purely cosmetic. It does not have any additional stats and cannot be deposited as well. The advanced pass is cost 50 yuan and the collector pass is 168 yuan which is equivalent to about 7 and 24 US dollars respectively. Now how you can play this game? The novice server is only available in the ROM China region server. So to get into the server, first you need the ROM China version APK. And once installed, the novice server will be in the list of servers available. Choose the server and you can play the game. Next, to unlock fully the game features especially the exchange center, you need to have Singtung account or at least the WeChat app. Making a WeChat account is relatively easy. You can use your own country phone number to make a WeChat account. And next, you need to verify it with your real name and ID in the game to unlock.
unlock the exchange center well verifying your id will unlock a lot more features but the exchange center is an important part of the game that you need to use to sell and buy things to get gears cards and zany so at the moment i am stuck here i can't proceed further because of this verification i'm sure you need a china id to verify so without this it will be a challenge to proceed playing the game all right what do you think of the new release novice server in rom china region there is no announcement yet as to if the other region the sea global or the eu region will get this server if it is going to be open in the sa server will you play it let me know what you think at the comments section below all right that's it for this video thank you for always supporting me and this channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye